Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back. And uh in today's little video, man, I got a we got a dev stream coming in from the Crystal Dynamics and uh we're gonna we're gonna listen in, we're gonna sit back, I'm gonna react uh if necessary. And uh yeah, we we just gonna see what they got to say. And hopefully what they have to say is resonating and not full of I'm sure you know what, but yeah. So uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and hit that bell for notifications because if you were keeping your eyes on Avengers but you just don't got the time, that's why I'm here, you know what I'm saying? But to let you know what's up, and I'm going to keep it real with you and call BS when I see it. So uh, y'all, uh, yeah, sit back and we're going to get into this as soon as they kick it up. So enjoy. Good is the thing you are. It's the thing you do. It is cool. Brother! Every second counts, people. Keep it moving. Hey everyone, happy Friday. Happy Friday chat, how's it going? First order of business as usual is if you guys can hear us. Yep, can you hear us? Can you hear me, Steven? I can hear you. You can hear me, all right. Can you guys hear us and can you guys hear Steven? Sounds great, awesome, cool. Haven't seen Phil in a while. Phil's actually moving across the country right now, so, so it takes uh, a while to move. Um, hence why he is not here, but he will be back. He will definitely be back. Uh, so, uh, what are we doing today? We are talking about some UI updates that are coming with War for Wakanda, um, and we're going to do like a showcase, and we're also going to reveal another Black Panther outfit. Uh, War for Wakanda is coming in like a week and a half, uh, so <laughs> we're super excited. Hopefully you guys are too. I've seen all your comments on Twitter, on Instagram, on Twitch, and I've been lurking in all your streams, and it seems like you guys are pretty hyped up for Wakanda and Black Panther in general. Uh, so with me today, we have UI UX director Stephen Wettstein. Stephen, do you want to do a quick introduction? Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, like I uh, introduced, uh, I'm the UX UI director at Crystal. Um, I'm really excited to kind of show you the work the team has been doing and uh, getting us uh, in a better place to continually add features and uh, add things that you all have been asking for. Um, so what we're going to show you is just the start of uh, changes and things that we're going to be doing. And I'm really, really excited to walk you through this um, and to kind of give you an idea of what we did and uh, a little bit of why we did it. Um, is that, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of feedback on, you know, hey, can we get to a place uh, where we can have loadouts? Can we get to a place that we can manage our gear better? Uh, can we have more features to managing gear? Can we lock things? Can we mass dismantle? Could we move them? Um, all those kinds of, uh, of items that are important to you all when you're managing your, your hero and your character. Um, and so uh, what we're gonna show you is a huge change and it is something exciting. Um, and it is going to be a thing that's gonna continue to grow and improve and uh, be something that you all uh, have helped us get there and um, your feedback and excitement about what gear means to you all and uh, managing your heroes. Um, so, um, the, the system we're going to show you is a first step to getting there. Um, and so, uh, you know, I want to set that for you is that this is um, going to have a lot of framework 
in place for future features and things to come. So um, with that, uh, I think we can maybe get into the game and we can kind of uh, show you all. Um, and again, uh, you know, it's going to be different. So, uh, you know, just to, and we'll walk through all the things that we've changed and the hope for uh, things to come. So, um, and, right. to, and for these UI updates too, just real quick, the, this will be a lot of focus on character management and setting up your hero. So, all right, you ready, yep. Steven? All right, so this is what the new UI looks like in the character menu. You know, transition screens right now, and we're gonna do a showcase and a, a God, what's the word for it? Just uh, how it all works. Right. Okay, so um, the big change, as you can see, is that we have brought something really exciting and it's something that uh, when I joined the team that I was very eager to try to do is uh, have uh, us be able to see your hero all in one place. Um, one of the things the, with the current uh, UI and UX is that things were spread across um, lots of tabs and things were kind of uh, nested or hidden in different places. Uh, so the thing we wanted to do is we wanted to try to pull all these things together to help us get towards a path to support multiple loadouts. Now for War for Wakanda, this is just only going to be a single loadout page like your main character, but this is setting us up for the future and that we will have you know, the ability to have multiple loadouts and skill presets. Um, and for us to get there, we needed to take this first huge step to get this uh, UX kind of... Um, built in a direction that we could start to add these features, expand on this. And also this is a, a menu that can grow um, for new additions and new things. Uh, another exciting uh, aspect and so like one of the things that uh, was meaningful to me is just like color and some iconography all right so, and so that the menus will actually this uh, right here based on which heroes you and see and we'll show you that as we kind of go like through and credit and, uh, is pretty given with credit is um and before if you're we kind trying of to the, the and you're showing all, us that you're trying kind of walk through some then the you're going to get the the, the proper so response the main if y'all are trying to say to, to manage a game that has loadouts then that must mean that you're trying to manage a game with better loot things, you know, helping us because there's no way can, that uh, a person can build um, a loadouts, make a build in this game without sure loadouts not a proper build all these things because you have to test and, and test and sometimes you so might you find something out, that you can you work can with to get you to that next floor, point like but if right i got to take uh, everything uh, off without being able to just swap over to what i'm using then that makes it difficult it makes it it's stupid so i'm glad that they're trying to bring this loadouts into the game let me to shut up and get back um and then another aspect of this is to um you know give you that kind of real good way to share your your builds um with everybody so they can not only see all your gear and your artifacts together laid out like this, but what your hero looks like and uh, what your stats, also the takedowns that you have equipped, um, everything. It all brings it up to that layer so you can kind of see your hero all in one place. Um, and, you know, to kind of dive into this and like, hey, how does this work and what did you uh, kind of change? Um, so like, if, if for example, we want to go into the outfit section. Um, diving into the outfit se section, uh, one of the big changes is we gave more real estate to uh, looking at all of your cosmetics and different things. So um, if you want to jump in into the outfits and then we can kind of um, yeah. show uh, that. Yeah, real quick, everyone. This is I, I forgot to mention. I should probably say that this is totally a test kit. <laughs> yeah. So this is a brand new, fresh account with some things might look a little weird and are not final. Uh, we like to just test uh, you know, test things around from time to time. Uh, mm -hmm. So do not take this as the final build of what's going to go into Wakanda. This is totally a test mm -hmm. build. And I think at, in the streams, we call it the the danger build. So things are, <laughs> are definitely not final. Yep. Um, yeah, so going in here, you can actually, uh, you see that we actually made the screen, um, you know, 
have more real estate to display and organize. This will also lead us to future things of how to organize content. Um, but once you dive into a section that is cosmetics related, you can easily, ease of access, just use the, the tabbing, the main ribbon to go through all your cosmetic sections, set up your hero, uh, get everything the way you want it. And then you can back out of this menu and then you can see that that top section of your hero has been fully specced out. And that kind of philosophy uh, on how we broke up the different sections to be focused towards cosmetic uh, versus gear um, and things like that allows us to uh, have this kind of really um, smooth way of transitioning between the different uh, types of gear and artifacts and emotes and things like that. Um, and so with that, um, I think we wanted to kind of switch to kind of show off um, kind of some of the theming real quick before we get into the the gear changes and things like that um, is that if you go into here and you want to switch to a different hero, so we'll show off Hulk, for example, um, if you switch to Hulk and now you can just open your, your new character menu, you can then see that the theming changes and that this is setting us up again, like I said, to uh, add more customization and making um, it more unique to your hero. Um, and this is just a, a, a a stepping stone to us doing um, more. And so this is a way to get that really nice theming, that iconography uh, going. And then that way you can quickly see your hero, see their full spec of everything and not worry about trying to tab and da uh, you know dive into sub tabs and, and things like that. You can just quickly remind yourself of your spec and everything related to Hulk. Um, another thing that we did is skills, is having skills set up like this, it's gonna lead us to the future on that side nav to support uh, specking out, have multiple specs of skills. And um, that was something that I've, I've seen in the community and some feedback is like, oh, well, you know, I have certain skills selected and, and uh, set up that it works really well for this build, but it doesn't work well for another build. Well, this now allows us to uh, eventually get to that place where we can support uh, specking that out. And that also the color theme that I was speaking about, like, adding personality to the pages. Again, this is just a, a step in that direction. So we can start having the menus know what hero you are and we can start actually um, enhancing them and making them visually um, tied to your hero. Um, and so, you know, that that's an example of that. So if we want to now um, kind of go back and show off our, our, our uh, new, <laughs> new hero, um, Black Panther, um, so with Black Panther, you'll be able to see, uh, his, his menu theme. Um, it's personally, I know people on my team's favorite, it's very much like has a very crisp monotone, uh, you know, classic, uh, style to it. Um, and so with this, we're going to use, uh, Black Panther to kind of show off the thing that we're really excited about, uh, is gear. So when you highlight your the first slot before we dive in, highlighting it, and you can see that you can do uh, just like you've done before. You, you know, there's options. You can equip your best directly from here. You can manage your gear now, and you can equip gear. Um, and there's a reason for the two differences, and I'll get into kind of what this is setting us up for and why it's important to kind of enhance what managing gear means. Um, and then another exciting thing is because this menu is now grid based, meaning everything is kind of nicely organized and in line with each other, this helps support D-pad movement. Um, so I know there's folks, um, I'm one of them, that sometimes cursors uh, can be uh, hard to navigate with. Um, and so one of the things I wanted to make sure is like having this kind of gridded layout um, allows our D-pad to actually be usable and you can kind of traverse through this menu. Um, and if you want to kind of show that off by just kind of clicking around with the D-pad, well, you can kind of just easily opinion, go around, go up and down, and you can game, move around to the different menus. Um, and the, like, the current... My, if anybody uh, else, we all know about um, that old dreaded not, stick drip. Um, you know what I'm saying? I can be looking at something and I'm reading and all of a sudden I'm not paying attention to my, um, so my cursor is slowly was, moving to the left, right, up this, or down. Uh, to, and all of a sudden, uh, boom, I got it's gone and I got to go back. You know what I'm saying? It's not a big issue, but it is an issue. 
That cursor um, is, then, I find myself using that, trying to use the D-pad all the time, and it just is, doesn't work properly okay, unless so I'm in a certain slot. You know, so I think that this could be a good here. change to help and navigate so through certain things. When we dive into in the, in um, hitting square to so dive this into manage good. gear, you're going to see your, your menus for your gear items have been put in a state that does something really exciting. And so it's the things that you guys have all been asking for for a while. Um, and if you want to highlight the first uh, gear item in the list, um, and we'll talk about the items here, is now we have lock. And so one of the biggest features that I know you all have been wanting is to be able to lock a piece of gear so you don't destroy it by accident. Um, this, for me, <laughs> had happened, and I know that it can really be devastating if you accidentally delete something that you were really excited and you really wanted to keep and not lose. And so um, you can go through and lock as many of the items in, in your bag. The other thing you might notice is that we increase the actual size of the amount of gear you can carry. Um, instead of nine, it's 11 per uh, slot. So we've increased the amount of gear that you can actually uh, carry and manage. Um, and then another thing that we added is if you want to unlock 11. everything real Why quick. Why not 16? Um, Do you not see those And then extra once we get everything unlocked, we're going to show open. another feature that I, mean, I know. Come on, man. You I mean, you've kind of gotten a little hints by seeing the uh, detail panels. Yeah, of but course, no, it's is, not a big issue. Uh, being able to you carry can now mark individual things to dismantle. That, and uh, so you can now their, use some of their uh, the left uh, trigger to mark, to, uh, so you can go through and mark the the locker. But come on, you got four extra slots right there. Why not just go ahead and make it sixteen? I mean, eleven is such a odd off number, you know. I don't know. Hey, maybe that's just me being picky, but yeah. state so now if we can then use the r1 to tab to the range category um the thing that this is exciting is you can quickly tab between every category no more trying to finesse with the cursor to highlight the slots to get the you know highlight state you can quickly just tab between all of your different categories keep it in the manage state and you can quickly delete things move things um and and, and upgrade the ones you want and everything or lock the ones you want. So the thing I want to show staying on the range category is if we um, actually go in and uh, unmark that one real quick, is that one of the other quality of life features is, hey, if you want to finesse and mark specific things to do mass dismantle, or if you're just like my whole entire bag of stuff, I'm ready to dismantle all of it. Another quality of life feature that we did is if you want to start dismantling something and if you continually hold down the trigger, um, it will it will do consecutive deletions, meaning it will go from the next item to the next item to the next item. So that way um, we've increased the speed of dismantling multiple pieces. As you can see, you know. And we can leave some of them there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave some of them. <laughs> um, and so that way, again, this is uh, allows people in their different play styles is that they have their favorites that they can lock. So we make sure that that doesn't get deleted. But there's sometimes when you've moved your things that you uh, cared about that you locked and you can put those in your, in your locker. Um, but this allows you to quickly just empty out your entire bag that you carry around at all times. And uh, which is really exciting. And that was not something that was supported before, as you all know. Um, and so an additional feature, if we want to tab um, back to Melee, um, is a, another feature that we added um, is moving items. So one of the things that if, as you play, we wanted to allow you to have access to your locker at all times. And that has not been a thing. And so uh, previously, the only way you could access your locker is post missions or in being located in one of the, uh, the um, uh, outposts so you could access your locker. This allows you to go and highlight a piece of gear and you can mark it for moving it. So we can mark two items. Um, so you, you would use right trigger. So left is to destroy, right is to move. Um, and now you can move those two items. So if you hold it down, you'll see that they will get transferred and um, 
move to your to your locker. Now you're like, oh, I'm this is a locker. I didn't mean to. I want to get them back from the locker. It's actually pretty simple. If you hit the if you um, hit the um, circle button, it will now switch from managed state to your actually currently equipped. And as you can see, it's highlighting the inventory locker um, button right there. We added a shortcut to the locker. So you can now access that. And if we want to hit uh, to X to, to view the locker, it will take you directly to your locker and you can see the two items that you transferred. And if you were like, no, I want those back in, in my actual inventory, you can um, go over it and then you can simply just hit uh, the trigger, our, uh, the right trigger, and it will just throw it back into the inventory. And now if you hit the circle button to go back, um, you will go back to, to where you're at. And there's the items. They're back in your inventory. And so um, this is um, a really nice way, again, for people that are trying to manage a lot of gear and the things that they want. An another really, really cool thing that we did is the overall scale display of the gear has been increased. So the font size for the numbers related to the power level of each of the pieces of gear are more uh, readable and the scale of it is a little bit larger. Um, also the icon sizes. Another little feature is you can see the little pulsating green arrows. It's a quick way to know which pieces of gear are ready for you to upgrade. And the this all it puts us again in place to support new uh, features in the you know coming um, future of how we can expand and support different types of management and different types of uh, features related to gear. Um, and so this is a really 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 nice way to quick read to see that you have a handful of items that are ready to be upgraded, and that you can then manage those pieces of gear. Um, and then. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, in, again, this we wanted to do something also to expand is compare. One of the things that I found is that I had some issues is like constantly holding the um, trigger down to compare items. We have a toggle option now. So if you want to toggle on compare, so you would uh, hit the L6, uh, L3 down, and it will pin it. So what this does is now if you move uh, the cursor and highlight different pieces of gear, it stays pinned. You can actually just leave it up, and then it stays up when you tab between different menus. So if you go to ranged, you'll see that the, the compare will be there. And that way you can ta keep tabbing between each of them. So defense, heroic, um, and yeah. And again, this is just a really fast way, again, to kind of give an actual uh, look into um, how the gear compares to it. And if that's a meaningful thing to you and your play style, um, you can just leave it on. Another thing that we added was stats, is that we um, wanted to set us up to continually improve the display of stats. And this is getting us there. It's I know that we have more work to do to kind of keep improving how stats are displayed, but if you do our stick uh, down, it will pin to the screen your actual list, and it's laid out um, nicer than the previous UI where it's a little bit clear about what it means and how things are nested underneath int intensity, for example, resolve, and you can see how those things uh, kind of get you to your value. Um, there's more work that, you know, to come on that, but that this sets us up for, for a really good way to allow you to kind of see those overall stats and it will stay pinned. So then again, you can peruse and look through all your gear and see if you can find a new piece of gear that is actually going to give you um, enhancements to your hero stat. Um, and then uh, I'm trying to think, I mean, there's so much that we did. Yeah. So we still support uh, equipping best. So the control scheme um, is action-packed. Yes, uh, I know there will, it will be something to get used to. Your muscle memory of what previous the previous UX and UI was, um, and that now we have this equip state and manage state, and um, it is you know an extra layer to it. But it's a meaningful change that it's setting us up for the future. It's setting us up to give you you all all the feature sets that you've wanted so much. And so this is just 
again, the start to a great change and a great future for how we want to handle gear. Um, and so with that, I think we can then kind of start talking about other parts of, of the character menu and, and what it's setting us up for. Um, so, you know, we talked about kind of how your, this loadout, your character page is set up. Um, we have what your character looks like. We have what makes up your, your hero's gear, your stats. Um, another section is we wanted to bring more, um, Ex, you know, exposure to your challenge card, letting people know where they're at in their progress is actually just laying it out nicely to tell you where you're at and what your next rewards are. Um, Cause again, that was, I think it was the second to last tab in the old UI. This just again, surfaces it and sets us up for the future. Um, and then takedowns, takedowns is I know something that we all love some really beautiful takedowns have been coming out lately um, is we wanted to expand the amount that you can have equipped. And so um, we expanded it to support eight. And so that way um, the user can go in, select up to eight different uh, takedowns and they, and that's the rotation. Or if for photo mode lovers, they can, uh, if they want to catch a really specific shot, you can uh, manage your takedowns to make sure you only have that one specific takedown equipped. So that way you can easily do those, that same takedown over and over again, if you're trying to get a really nice shot that you, you love. And now I know a question would be like, why is comics on the screen? Why is this here? And so a uh, thing that I really wanted people to understand is comics are a thing that actually impacts all right, so the takedown selection thing right there, man, I mean, that's cool because some takedowns I prefer to more than others, you know what I'm saying, and I'd like to see them when I want, and that's cool that they are getting that in there like that and I basically bring it to the forefront because most times I will not go and check to make sure. So, yeah, that's just generally how that is. And I'm glad they probably bringing that. I'm glad they bringing that to the forefront, and maybe it'll give us a little bit more control over what we want our characters to do. You know, uh, I want to go into any more details on that part, but there again, this uh, uh, was a meaningful choice to kind of have these different menus have their own unique uh, menus you can dive into, and uh, set them up, and. Um, in a nutshell, that that is kind of the meat of this page. But there was there was additionally some things that we did um, across all the main categories. Um, for example, if you wanna if you wanna tab um, L1 over to Codex, one of the things that I know people have um, had issues with is readability, the font size. Um, and things like that. And so um, I took that and I really wanted to do something to improve uh, some of the font uh, readability. So if you want to go and read one about one of the characters, um, the font size now has been increased. The, uh, the pane actually grows taller and it will scroll. Um, and that way you can actually read things that you want to, um, you know, read. Because there was before the font size was not scaled. It was it was one of the smallest font sizes in the game. So this was one minor quality of life feature, but a meaningful one for people that really love the story of Avengers and a lot of the, um, these really just well-written things that our narrative team puts together about the characters and events and, um, you know, different sections of the game. Um, and again, with this change, as you can see, it's a full page. So, the whole screen is dedicated to this feature now. It's not trying to share things and and be too much. This just allows the menus to be what they're about. Um, and th that goes for objectives menu. Now it's all about your objectives and your, your actions you're trying to do. It's just the whole page. Um, and so with that, one of the things I wanted to additionally talk about was some other UI changes that aren't just the character menu, um, is that we did some improvements to um, a feature that we've constantly been improving. Um, but I think this change is a really nice one and it's about, um, you know, your your factions. And so if if we wanna kind of select Iron Man uh, real quick, it'd be kind of fun to show his menu uh, too. Um, you, so people could see the theming. Um, 
is if you wanted to go in there, you could kind of see that he's got his um, Iron Man color. Oh, yeah. um, there we go. Yeah. Um, but again, you know, again, this is just, just a nice little thing that's setting us up to have like the hero themes come through. But um, we expanded on the terminals. And so um, one of the things is kind of just make the terminals be more uh, effective is we now have them support multiple factions. So the UX that we started doing in the menus for the character menu, we made it um, be extensible to other sections of the game. And so that way you can tab between shield and inhuman, and you can actually quickly just tab between those two factions and see your, see your missions. And then you could also, which this already came out, but it's something that um, was a part of uh, this process was we have it except all again, just kind of like the enhancements that we added to the gear page is that you can hold it and it will accept all of those items. Um, and so that way you don't have to go and highlight each one just to accept that you can just accept all of them. Um, and then, yeah, and I, I think, I mean, I know I went through a whirlwind of changes and there's so much that, you know, we could probably like deep dive on specifics. Um, but this was a really um, exciting thing. I know the team is really excited for you all to get your hands on Wakanda and see these changes and experience them. And we can't wait to keep adding and keep um hearing feedback and and updating and changing and making sure that things are uh the experience you all um want so yeah so what you guys think uh, i saw a lot of good comments from the crazy amount of things that steven went over <laughs> <laughs> um reminder that it, it's test build so there's some crazy stuff in there but the majority of what we show it off is like all right, guys, so basically, in a nutshell, man, we just got some UI updates. Uh, basically, I believe that they're trying to like set up a, their own personal roadmap as to how they want uh, to distribute gear, how they want you to be able to manage gear, how they want you to be able to uh, manage your hero, period. I mean, look, it all looks good and everything. And and if it's something that's new that's coming to the game that's supposed to actually help the longevity of it, I'm all for it. But it still boils down to if y'all say y'all testing it and y'all testing y'all's game, then we should not get any new content update with any bugs, glitches, or any of that stuff. Dude, I get it. All right. Every game's got bugs. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes with Crystal Dynamics, it seems like they work on the wrong thing. And it, I don't know. I don't know if this falls in line with work, them working on the wrong thing or is this is just something that actually will help. Only time will tell. Like I said, it looks good and it looks simplified, but you know, there's always going to be a but. And you let you can let me know down in the comments what you think that butt will be in your opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because I say this is all cool and all that, and, and yeah, it's fun to see, but people are still gonna want more, and and more from just the UI side of the game. But more, people are gonna want more in the game. You know what I mean? I get we got Wakanda coming up and all that, and that's what we want to focus on and all that. But yeah. They are, it, there's a lot of things you go look at oh, at the Twitter, it, it, you will see what everybody wants, and I don't know what we were what we could have expected from this stream, but I I don't know. I guess we'll just discuss it down below in the comments and hope that sometime at some point they'll understand what we want and how this game is supposed to work, and maybe it'll get there. Uh, let me let them finish and whatever whatnot, and if you're new to the channel. Drop a like on the video, subscribe, uh, hit that bell for notifications so you can stay updated on the on the game, and uh, yeah, let, let let's jump back into it because we getting some some Black Panther wardrobe footage and all that goodness. So let's check it out. So let's check out these skins. Mixed theories. 
Um, it is very reminiscent of what this looks like, but we added in some things from uh, how he looked when Shuri was Black Panther into one outfit. So this is totally inspired by multiple comics, and we just wanted to make sure to have something to pay homage to, to his culture. This is the Royal Legacy outfit. And for everyone who wants to post it on Twitter right now, I am going to post it on Twitter literally right now. Uh, so no need to capture any of this because I'm going to click tweet in just a bit as I bring up. All right. So, guys, what do you think? War for Wakanda, you know what I'm saying? Coming out in a week and a half, whatnot. And we seen a new we've got the reveal of a new black panther skin as well as the UI, a ui update and it changes to the way you manage your hero uh let's talk about it down in the comment section guys drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new as i said hit that bell for notifications and uh yeah Catch me on all my other social medias. I stream on Twitter. Oh, Twitter. Woo Something caught my attention. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah, I stream I stream over on Twitch and uh yeah, a bearded beanie brother. You can catch me over there on Twitch where I play the game and if you want to run with me, and we can do that. But uh yeah, y'all have a good day. Practice social distancing, wear your mask, and uh peace.